Hi, my name's Nick Amy. I'm the Director of Engineering at IQD. Uh, and I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the difference in the different classes of stability of our products. So, three products we've got on display here. We have a simple package crystal oscillator, which is an uncompensated device. We have a temperature compensated crystal oscillator, and we have an oven controlled crystal oscillator. These three products have uh, progressively more stable behavior over temperature. So on the display, you can see the frequency. They're all 10 megahertz devices, and you can see in parts per million how far away they are. Uh, so this product is currently flickering around at about one part per million. If I use the pot, I can adjust the device. You can see that I can pull the frequency a little bit tighter. The TCXO has already been adjusted for me, and the OCXO, which is currently at 100 part per billion, and if I just twiddle with the pot here, I can just set that to a much tighter stability. Okay, and then we can apply some heat to these products and you can see how the frequency changes over temperature. So as I heat the uncompensated device, here you can see the frequency change by six, seven part per million. If I do the same, to the TCXO, we can look at the stability change here. So here you can see already that the change in frequency is significantly better with the TCXO. And if I look at the OCXO, you can see the change in frequency is very, very small. So this is a simple demonstration of the different ways of compensating and the type of stability you can achieve. This is our evaluation board. This product has been developed to allow customers to take a standard crystal oscillator, TCXO or a VCXO, and attach it to the board and then be able to do the tests in their laboratory without having to develop a, a test footprint of their own. So this product, uh, on here we have the power supply, which is necessary, so a very stable power supply for the oscillator. We also have the correct output load configuration, so the oscillator is seeing what it needs to see, but you can t uh, attach it directly to your test equipment from the board. We also have the voltage control input circuit, or the output enable circuit, on the board in case you want to look at the functionality for that. If you uh, take the board from us, it comes in two forms. We've got the unpopulated board, or you can have a populated board. And if you look on our website, you can see the bill of materials and the instructions are found at the, uh, on the barcode here. So we hope that this product will make it much simpler for our customers to be able to evaluate our products and do the testing necessary to check that they're going to work for them. IQD offers some high-end products. We offer some TCXOs. The smallest we do is 1.6 by 1.2 millimeters. We do uh, 50 parts per billion in a TCXO product. We also have a range of oven controlled crystal oscillators where the tightest stability we can offer is 0.2 parts per billion. Uh, and the tightest phase noise we do, the best phase noise is minus 182 decibels as a noise floor. Uh, we also have a small range of rubidium oscillators, so we have a 50 by 50 millimeter rubidium oscillator and we also have a range of GPS disciplined OCXOs and the latest product that we have there is this product, the IQCM160, which is just about to be released. This product can maintain 1.5 microseconds for 24 hours and is in a very, very small package.